Hi guys, I'm back with another recipe. Today we're making arroz a la cubana. It's a dish that's mainly eaten in many Spanish countries and it's uh, been adopted by the Philippines and they made their own version. And here I am, I'm gonna show you my version of it as well. To start off, I have some raisins. I have saba bananas. I think this is local in the Philippines or in many Southeast Asian countries. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a sweet banana. I'm gonna fry it and put it on top of my arroz a la cubana. I also have tomato sauce, ground pork, onions, potatoes, pepper, olive oil, quail eggs, oyster sauce, fish sauce, or you could use salt and sugar. Okay, so let's get cooking. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a few tablespoons of oil. I'm using olive oil in this case. And then I'm gonna fry my onions. This will take around three to five minutes. Okay, so after five minutes, I'm ready to put our ground pork. Continue mixing until it's brown in color. Okay, continue browning, browning your pork and then add some salt or fish sauce. I would say about a tablespoon and some pepper. Okay, continue mixing. And then, and then now you can add your potatoes. Normally I would put carrots as well to this, but I don't have carrots on hand, so I'll just use whatever I have. Okay, continue mixing and cover until the potatoes are soft. Okay, so after about eight minutes, the potatoes are pork tender. I'm gonna put our tomato sauce. I would say one fourth cup of tomato sauce. And I'm just gonna add a little water as well. There you go, continue mixing. I'm also gonna put sugar just to balance out the flavor. Maybe a teaspoon. And also about a teaspoon of oyster sauce. Continue mixing, guys. Okay, I'll cover this for around three more minutes, and then we can add in the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so our potatoes are cooked. I'm gonna just add a little more pepper and then I'm gonna add my raisins 
And normally, we would add or we would fry some sunny side up eggs to this dish. That's the traditional way. But I'm doing my version of it. I'm gonna add quail eggs. Plus, quail eggs are my favorite. So that's the twist to this dish. I'm just gonna mix them one more time. Cover it. Meanwhile, I'm also frying my Oop, that's the timer. Sorry. I'm also frying my saba to put on top of this dish. I also forgot to mention that we needed rice for this. So rice, we're gonna top it with our arroz a la cubana. And then we're gonna top it with our fried saba bananas. Okay, be back later. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you how I prepare my arroz a la cubana for dinner tonight. I'm just gonna grab some rice. I'm gonna pour my arroz a la cubana over the top of the rice. Forget to add your potatoes and your eggs. And then I'm just gonna top it with my fried saba bananas. There you go, guys. This is my version of arroz a la cubana. I hope you give this a try and please let me know what you think. Thank you. Oh,